Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. Mythbusters, the TV show, seemed to answer questions for its viewers that they didn't even know they had. Can a snowplow really flip a car? Can you fold a piece of paper in half more than seven times? Can guard dogs be distracted with T-bone steaks? Questions that we all had since Home Alone, and even before, were tackled by the Mythbusters team, and it was both entertaining and educational. Today, we're talking about the top 10 best myths busted by the Mythbusters. But before we get started, why not become an archivist today by clicking that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. If you end up enjoying this video, let us know by giving it a thumbs up, and in the comments section, tell us your favorite myth that was tackled by the Mythbusters. Number 10. Snowplow Takes on Car in this myth, the build team took on the snowplow versus car myth, which tested whether a high-speed snowplow could split a car in half. It took them 75,000 pounds of thrust and 12 rockets to add up to a 500 mile per hour speed they needed, but they did it. This basically proves it can't be done under regular circumstances, but with the car splitting perfectly in half, engine included, and almost everything else turning to dust, including the plow, Everyone was pretty stunned by the result. Number 9. Bifurcated Boat Here's the myth. A boat going 25 miles per hour can be split down the middle by hitting a channel marker. Well, the team tried to split their boat, adorably named the Mythody Split, a variety of times both on land and on water, and managed only to split the marker in half. So what happened next? Well, as usual, they pumped up the speed quite a bit, adding the rocket sled and boom, halved. Another day, another myth busted. Number 8. Sawdust Cannon You could basically find the best explosions on Mythbusters by looking for fill-in-the-blank plus cannon. We particularly recommend the Sawdust Cannon. The challenge? Create a cloud of sawdust and ignite it with a flare. Seems simple enough, right? The team made it even bigger by filling the cannon with non-dairy creamer. If you like big fires, this could be the episode for you. Number 7. Seven Folds A classic. Can you fold a piece of paper in half more than seven times? Anyone who thought about this as a child knew you needed a huge but thin piece of paper. How big? Well, the Mythbusters got one as big as a football field. With the help of a lot of people, some heavy machinery, a steamroller, and a forklift, and a lot of willpower, they managed to bust the myth and make 11 folds. My inner child was so satisfied. Number 6. Cheese Cannon Any cannon contraption with wheels of cheese is going to make this list. Call it arbitrary, but just about any myth including cheese gets an advantage even though this one technically doesn't fit the bill because it wasn't busted. The fact that the team found a cheese that put a hole in a ship's sail that was a replica of that of the 1840s when the myth was from was pretty cool. In the end, they tested three different kinds of cheese, Edam, Smoked Gouda, and Gorocha, with Gorocha being the only variety with the density and flexibility to puncture through the sail. Number 5. A Stakeout I couldn't let a good pun go to waste with this one. We're talking about distracting a guard dog with stakes, as we've seen so many cartoons do. And maybe 1% of you out there might remember the 1990 DOS game, Hugo's House of Horrors. Can you guess what happened? If you guessed that it worked, you'd be right. The dog was successfully distracted as long as he had a steak to eat. As soon as the steak was gone, though, the dog went back to his guard dog duties. They also tested wolf urine, which had plausible effects, and lactating female dog pheromones, which had no effect on the alpha male whatsoever. Number 4. Tennis Takeoff In this episode, the team attempts to bust a myth seen on a commercial. They needed to hit a tennis ball back and forth on the equivalent of a flying plane mainly because their insurance company turned down their idea to do it on an actual flying plane. They compensated by creating wind situations that would be similar to that on a plane and were able to do it. At 35 miles per hour and at a distance of 40 feet, the wingspan they built, 
they volleyed a tennis ball five times after several failed attempts. Some myths just can't be busted, and it's almost more entertaining that way. Myth confirmed. Number 3. The Flying Guillotine Any myth that comes from a kung fu movie is going to be a good one. The point was to recreate a flying weapon that can not only cut someone's head off, but also return back to you like a boomerang. They competed for the winning design, and Tori came through winning the competition and made it happen. It wasn't the clean cut you want to get if you were to be under it, but it sure proved it could be done. Though this myth wasn't busted, but confirmed, the gruesome fun of it was definitely worth mentioning. Number 2. Fireworks Man Can a person fly 150 feet off of a ramp before landing safely in a lake with, wait for it, 400 rockets attached to themselves? They tried this myth several times during the show, and the first time used a crash test dummy that crashed long before the 150-foot mark, leaving that myth busted. Later, they tried it with NASA, using 500 fireworks, and Buster the Crash Dummy reached 700 feet. This changed the status of this particular myth to confirmed, proving all you need is a little help from NASA to make science happen. Sure, the dummy didn't really land in the lake, but that hardly mattered to the team, who was totally stoked. Number 1. Breaking Bad Myths If you are as big of fans of the show Breaking Bad as we are, then you are going to love this Mythbusters episode. There are quite literally dozens of Breaking Bad episodes that would have made for great mythbusting, including the super magnet evidence room scene, but this episode concentrated on one of the greatest scenes of the show, Walter White's machine gun booby trap that was shown in the series finale. Adam and Jamie considered it plausible, but come on, it was totally confirmed. The best part of their rebuild is that Adam confirmed that Walt could have made the turret entirely with items found at a local hardware store, just like Vince Gilligan had written in the show. Thanks for watching. Tell us the facts and let us know which Mythbusters myth in this list you'd like to try to replicate. Remember, truth is, you can become an actual top 10 archivist before you go, so you can continue being notified about new videos as soon as they're uploaded by subscribing, clicking the bell, and giving this video a like. Actually, that's a myth that you have to like this video to be a subscriber, but it would be a lovely gesture on your part. Come on.